Once you select a source that you want from the results page, you'll enter the detailed record page for that source. The sources in Hive Search are of varying types. You'll have articles as well as books, so we'll go over both of those main types. This first page that we're looking at is a full text article. The left column is where you'll find information for accessing the source. So in this case, because of its full text, if you click on this PDF full text link, you'll go to a PDF. In the center column, that's where you'll find all of the citation and abstract information about the book. So everything you need for evaluating the source and for performing your citations whenever you're writing a bibliography. So you'll have the title at the top, author, the source, that'll give you the publication title, the date, volume and issue, page numbers, as well as the document type. This is an article. If it's a book review, it'll say book review instead. These are subject terms. You can pay attention to these if you want to extend your search. So if this ends up being a really awesome article for you, see if you can find other similar articles using those subject terms. Then of course, you've got your abstract. I always recommend reading this abstract. It's a lot faster to read an abstract than to read a 26 page paper. You'll also find information about author affiliations, which can help with source evaluation, determining whether or not it's a good source. And then you'll find which database it was located in because Hive search searches multiple databases. Sometimes this is useful. Finally, we've added a special widget called reference assistance. This is where you can have reference assistance if you need any help. It'll have access to the lib guides, to lib answers, to the library chat, and then of course, to fill out the form at lib answers. The right column is also the same throughout all of the detailed record pages, regardless of the type of source. From here, you've got your tools section. You can print out the citation page. So this will only print out the detailed record page. It will not print out the article. You can email the detailed record page. You can save the detailed record page. It will also give you information for citing the source. If you click on that, it'll give you different options. So many people will use APA and here's the APA section of how they think you should cite it. Notice right here, that is incorrect. That's wrong. That should not be in all caps. This is because citation generators only can spit out what is put in. So because it was put in all capital letters by the database, that's how it's gonna spit it back out. But if your professor receives that citation in all caps, you're not gonna get full credit for it. You could scroll down to MLA there they fixed it. It's not in all caps anymore. However, the word and and the word the and the word of and in should not be capitalized. So again, pay attention to what they're doing. Proofread all citation generators. You can also export the information to a citation generator if you prefer or a citation collector, something like Zotero or EasyBib, RefWorks, those kinds of things. Permalink. If your professor wants you to send links of the articles you found, use the permalink. The link that you find in the location bar is not going to work. So the link that you'll find up here, right up here, that's going to die. If you give your professor that link, it will not work. Give your professor this link. That link will work. And finally, there's a bookmark section. Again, if you bookmark this location at the top, it's not going to work. It's going to die on you. If you use this bookmark section, then you can bookmark it and you can save the source yourself that way. So the other kind of article I was talking about were articles that are not full text. You'll find that this information in the middle is the similar. It gives you the citation information at the top, followed by the abstract, followed by the database and our reference assistant widgets. But over here on the left, instead of the PDF full text, you'll find the find it button, as well as an option to request the article through interlibrary loan. If you click on the find it button, it will open up our SFX open URL service. This is gonna search all of our databases in Galileo to see if anybody else has it in any of our other databases. Here we'll see no full text available online. So you would have to use this link to request an interlibrary loan. It'll open up in a new page. It'll pull all the information in this bottom section and you'll have to put your information in the top section. The other type of source we were talking about were books. Again, this middle section is going to be different, especially for books. The top part's gonna to be similar in that it is giving you the citation information. You've got your title, your author, publication information, the location, the publisher, the date. You've got edition information if necessary, number of pages, the contents note, that will be a table of contents if a table of contents is available. It'll also have the ISBN, LCCN, a URL to the Library of Congress if available, sometimes yes, sometimes no. 
catalog holdings. This is where it is in the library. So this is in the QH section and it is not checked out. Then you'll have other widgets associated with books. In this case, the search interface did not find any other formats and editions. It did not find any reviews of the title. However, it is suggesting similar books. So you could open that up and you could see what other books it's suggesting that it thinks are similar. It did not find any other books by the author and that same reference assistant widget is still there. In the left column, instead of linking to full text or the find it button, you can retrieve the catalog item. Just click on that link and it opens it up here in our library catalog. The other options is it will, under related information, it'll pull up those same links from those widgets that are here. You've got just another box of it here. And the holdings information, it's a box here, as well as a box down here. All of the information in the right-hand side is the same as on the other two types of sources. So that's it. That's the information that you'll find in the detailed record and how it'll give you some extra information if those widgets are able to find things.